Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are playing Portal 2 and uh, so basically I tried to record this like three times already. I can't figure out what to do. So, the controller's on the So, I know that where to go stuff. Up that 
coffee we gave you earlier had fluorescent calcium in it so we can track the neuronal activity in your brain. There's a slight chance the calcium could harden and vitrify your frontal lobe. Anyway, don't stress yourself thinking about it. I'm serious. Visualizing the scenario while under stress actually triggers the reaction. What? Why did you have to... Oh god, okay, I thought I fell. Why did you have to tell me that? That's just weird. I mean, I know I have brain damage, but... You forget that. At the start of the game, you have brain damage the one or something. Now, if you're part of control group Kepler-7, we implanted a tiny microchip about the size of a postcard into your skull. Most likely you've forgotten it's even there. But if it starts vibrating and beeping during this next test, let us know. Because that means it's about to hit 500 degrees, so we're going to need to go ahead and get that out of you pretty fast. Okay, thanks for letting me. Keep your pants on. All right, this next test may involve trace amounts of time travel. So, word of advice, if you meet yourself on the testing track, don't make eye contact. Lab boys tell me that'll wipe out time. Entirely. Forward and backward. So, do both of yourselves a favor and just let that handsome devil go about his business.
simple fact that you're standing here listening to me means you've made a glorious contribution to science. As founder and CEO of Aperture Science, I thank you for your participation and hope we can count on you for another round of tests. We're not going to release this stuff into the wild until it's good and damn ready, so as long as you keep yourself in top physical form, there will always be a limo waiting for you. Say goodbye, Carolyn. Goodbye, Carolyn. Oh. She <laughs> is a gem. She's also good about Carolyn. Oh, wait, 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 What does it mean? The robot or what? Okay, so it's blood. I think I need to place one somewhere else. Like, other. Oh, wait. Stop. Sorry, that's just going to lap. Oh, no, I need to... Right, okay, 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 I see, I see. That's where I think I need to go, like here. Yeah? Okay, cool. Alright, so we're here now. I don't know where I really am, but okay. Is the like ah wait? I'm just gonna try it. Ah wait wait wait! I saw something. Okay okay. No no no! That was that. Oh, I got it. Oh, yes. 
let's go. Just barely. Greetings, friend. I'm Cave Johnson, CEO of Aperture Science. You might know us as a vital participant in the 1968 Senate hearings on missing astronauts. And you've most likely used one of the many products we invented, but that other people have somehow managed to steal from us. Black Mesa can eat my bankrupt... Sir, the testing? Right. Now, you might be asking yourself, Cave, just how difficult are these tests? What was in that phone book of a contract I signed? Am I in danger? Let me answer those questions with a question. Who wants to make $60? Cash. You can also feel free to relax for up to 20 minutes in the waiting room, which is a damn sight more comfortable than the parked benches most of you were sleeping on when we found you. So, welcome to Aperture. You're here because we want the best, and you're it. Nope. Couldn't keep a straight face. Anyway, don't smudge up the glass down there. In fact, why don't you just go ahead and not touch anything unless it's test related. Okay, sure. I'll toss, um, touch everything. Here. Right. Um, we need to angle it a little bit, a little bit uh, less, um, yeah. Okay, that's fine. Right on the railing, noise. Right now, I should lead safely. Okay, okay. Uh, uh. Okay, just. There we go. Control room. Oh, hi. Say, you're good at murder. Could you. Ow! Oh, oh thanks. That idiot doesn't know what he's doing up there. This whole place is going to explode in a few hours if somebody doesn't disconnect him. Right, okay. And unless you're planning to saw your own head off and wedge it into my old body, you're going to yeah. need me to replace him. We're at an impasse. So what do you say? You carry me up to him and put me back into my body, and I Five stop minutes. us from blowing up and let you go. No tricks.
that extra half volt helps, but it isn't going to power miracles. If I think too hard, I'm going to fry this potato before we get a chance to burn up in the atomic fireball. That little idiot is going to... How did I, like, do that other thing before? I, like, you know... to end the video here I like subscribe yeah hit the bell so you never miss another video and oh well I need to pause and bye bye